All right. Now moving on to our next keynote address of the day. To deliver this, I would like to request Mr. Prem Nithin R, Director Sales Emerging India, SARC for Fortinet to come and share his views on this industry. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a huge round of applause for him? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Prem. I head the emerging vertical, right? So it's a very diverse crowd. Uh, I have to admit, right, because there are people from HR, there's people from uh, business administration, so there are a lot of uh, non-IT folks, right, so uh, before starting my session, I just wanted to introduce Fortinet to you guys, so that you understand where I come from, right, so Fortinet is a uh, cyber security product and solutions company, we offer uh, uh, cyber security product and solution to our customer, right. Um, why is cybersecurity so important uh, in today's world? Now, all of you would agree, India is a shining star to the world. Yes? Yes. So, India is a brighter shining star to all the hackers. Okay? Now, can anybody guess how many cyber security incident occurred last year? Just a wild guess. There were 13,91,000 cyber attack incident that occurred last year. Now if you look at the statistics, only less than 10% of the cyber security incidents are reported. So you can now imagine the magnitude of the attack that has been happening, right? And India is at the, I mean, core. And especially healthcare and pharma is at the heart of most of the hackers. Now, the, for them, they think that pharma and healthcare industry has made tons of money in last two years, and they have tons of money to basically pay out the ransom, right? So this is something which, which we, we have been engaging with some of the pharma companies and this is something which we have observed as well, right? So there's so much of attack that is happening on the pharma and healthcare industry, uh, which is unprecedented, right? Now, if you, if you look at, you have to be really scared today, right? Because every 14 seconds, there is a cyber sec, uh, 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 ransomware attack which is launched every 14 seconds. Every 39 seconds, a cyber security attack is executed. Okay. Which is very, very scary. Um, if you look at 37% of the attacks happen through phishing, email, they basically enter into the segment, uh, enter into the network. Um, Average ransom an organization pays is 188K USD, which is 1.5 crores. Average ransom that the organization pays. And there are a lot of top pharmaceutical companies who have been under attack for almost six months and have paid hell a lot of money to the attackers, right? So you're basically talking of digitization Digitization without security is, is calling trouble. Uh, how many of you agree? So, digitization is core, security is super core. In case if you are not looking at security as an embedded architecture, then you are calling for trouble. Because we have just started because hackers also have just started scraping the surface. We have still not got into organ trafficking. Most of the hospitals have to be really careful with the database that you build on-prem or on the cloud because organ trafficking is the next big thing that is going to hit us, right? So you have to basically safeguard, protect all that you are trying to do with digitization, right? So otherwise it, it becomes really... Um, really dangerous. Now, most of the attackers are basically weaponizing, um, right? They're basically taking control of your IT, OT systems. IT is still okay because data in rest uh, still can be protected with some level of agents in the desktop, 
but what do you do with the OT? How many OT devices would a pharmaceutical company or a healthcare uh, hospital would have? How do you keep track of all these OT equipments? There's a thought to be, I mean, there's, there's a point to be thought on, right? Because you will have to protect both IT and OT devices in the network, right? Then you need to have a, a complete visibility of the users connected to the network, right? So this is very, very critical. You need to have a holistic view of applications that are traversing within the network. With this, you would basically get a better view of the threat landscape, right? So this is very, very critical. And that is why most of the organizations are re-looking at redoing their network infrastructure. Or because it is just not the cost, it is just not the manageability of these devices, it is basically to get a holistic view of all that is happening in the network, including the attacks that are basically launched at them, right? So which is very, very critical. Uh, most of the, when, most of the uh, corporates, customers are basically are, are working on a vendor consolidation. They have built a lot of this silo solution which is not integrating today and which is not helping them to protect the uh, zero day attack which has been launched. So that is where most of the organizations are uh, looking at vendor consolidation. Gartner came out with CSMA, Cyber Security Mesh Architecture. Now all the customers all the healthcare, pharma, XYZ customers need to look at a, an architecture, an integrated architecture. That is what Gartner talks about. And that is what we have been doing from last so many years, right? So we started off as a point product company. Now we have evolved to be a platform company, the platform that we call as a fabric, right? We have acquired multiple OEMs, point product solution, and we have basically integrated that into a mesh architecture. Now all that is required for an organization to run effectively and securely, you need to have 20 vendors solution. What we have done is basically we have acquired most of the relevant companies and then we have made it into a mesh architecture. Now we basically talk about four major pillars. One is your cloud security, network operations, security operations, zero trust. When you allow somebody to access the data, when you allow somebody to access your network, he has to be a genuine user, right? Otherwise, the data can get into a bad hands, right? So zero trust is something which is, which is very, very critical. And the intelligence that drives the whole network is our Fortigard Threat Analyzer, right? So which is basically uh, intelligence on the internet, which keeps looking at all the vulnerabilities, all the threat landscape that is, that is in the internet, and basically suggest, makes a playbook for customers to then deploy it in their network, so that network becomes secure, right? So which is, which is very, very crucial. As part of our fabric architecture, first is your network, which is, you need to have a secure network. So se network and security were two different things in, in, in previously, right? So you had switching, then you had security. Both were in silos. So today you don't have a choice to look at, look, look at these things in silos. You need to have an integrated approach. So that is where we basically talk about integrated security. Uh, the intelligence is provided by the 40 OS which basically integrates the network and the security appliance together. So that the security policy is consistent across, across all your network, right? So which is very, very crucial. Second thing is convergence of on-prem and remote users. If you look at today, not many people sit in the office and work, all right? Be it your partners, be it your uh, vendors who work. So they are basically diverse. Uh, the distributed workforce. Now, how do you secure your infrastructure that you have built, giving a secure access to somebody who is accessing it on-prem, somebody who is accessing it from outside? Now, that is where we have a zero trust or a SASE solution, which gives you a single pane of glass, wherein which you can manage the user, manage the device, 
manage the policy, security, postures, everything, right? So you have a single pane of glass which will give you a holistic view of IT, OT devices, users, and the security policy, right? So this is very, very cr cr critical. Now, 40 gat security is something which I spoke of, which is basically not a siloed solution from our perspective. This interoperates with Cisco, this interoperates with PAN. So we share a lot of security incidents and then take security incidents from them, right? So security intelligence from them. So this is something which will help customers to make their own playbook, make their own mitigation policies, and then roll it out in the network so that any new attack that is launched, your network or your, your data is secured, right? So which is, and from leadership perspective, we, have, we are leader in firewall, no doubt about it, right? Um, the total number of firewalls shipped till date, uh, what Fortinet shipped till date, um, all competition put together cannot match that 10 million mark. Right, so we have the high. We are the highest uh, firewall shipping OEM in this world. Right, so uh, we are a market leader in firewalls. We are market leader in seven other technologies that we offer to our customer, and uh, we interoperate, integrate with Control S, with AWS, with GCP, and uh, security instances can be placed in each of this cloud, and then can be managed centrally as well. Right, so the security policies that you def that you define for your on-prem users, for the cloud, for, for your private cloud. So everything can be consistent and can be managed centrally. So in terms of Fortinet, we have more than close to 700,000 customers. We are $6 billion company with the market capitalization of 38.2 uh, billion. And uh, we just want to be a trusted partner in your journey towards digitization, right? I just wanted to make it quick and then relevant hope. Hope I passed on the message. Three things that I want to leave behind. You need to have a complete visibility of IT, OT devices in your network. You need to have a holistic view of applications that are traversing in the network. And you need to have a clear visibility of what are the threat landscape that you that, that you will be attacked from, right? So these are the three points that I want to leave behind and thank you.